Okay guys, so here is the tank. We're going to start the review at the top and work our way down. So starting at the top, we have our drip tip, which is removable, but not a 510 connection. And you remove it to fill her up. As you can see, plenty of room. So this is a top fill tank. The tank itself holds two mils of juice to be TPT compliant. It also has juice flow control. So we have it fully open, fully closed off, or halfway. And this obviously helps defend against the coil getting flooded, but I haven't had that problem, but this is just an extra defense against that. We also have airflow control on either side and the restrictiveness, you know, it's pretty good, maybe a bit too restrictive, but it works well. And we also have adjustable pin, which is good to see. And the threads are pretty good. Okay, guys, so here is a quick look at the spare coil that comes with this kit. And obviously it's the same as the one pre-installed. It's a 0.5 ohm coil that recommended wattage is between 15 and 50. As you can see, it's got mesh on all of the juice holes, which is pretty cool. You know, it also has mesh on the top to stop the spit back and it works because I haven't had any spit back. Packed full of cotton and also the airflow is absolutely massive so you've got a good amount of air going to the coil and yeah, it's pretty sweet. So now the mod, we're going to start the review at the top and work our way down. So starting at the top, we have a spring-loaded 510 connection which is gold-plated and every tank I've thrown on here makes a connection. We have our fire button, it does have some rattle but it also is very clicky, works well. Up and down buttons, super clicky as well, work well. And also a USB charging port on the side here. We also got the Icebox logo, I guess. And this is the screen. I'll show you that in just a bit, but as you can see, blends in really well. On the bottom, we have some holes for battery venting, and this is our battery door. In fact, as you can see, there's no real give that this is a battery door, but you push it to the side, all sly and secret-like, and that is where you put your battery. Obviously, positive goes first, a negative on the top, close her up, and you're all good. So we whack our battery in, we push it down because it is a springy connection, close the door, and you'll be greeted with icebox coming on the screen. The screen is not the brightest, I would like to see that brighter, hopefully that is fixed in the version 2, but as you can see mine is quite hard to see. Well it's actually easy for me to see, but the screen for you guys is quite hard to see. So to turn it into temperature controlled mode because it's on wattage at the moment, you hold the up and down button at the same time. And there you go, we're in stainless steel mode, it's red and it indicates it there. You can't quite see it, but it is there, I promise you. Press it again, and we're into nickel mode, as you can see an NI there, in green. Press it again, and we're in titanium mode with a blue TI there. Once again, you might not be able to see it, but it is there. And hold it down again, and we're in wattage mode. And obviously it goes all the way up to 80 watts. And obviously you've got this hot indicator here, and also a second count battery and also a puff account there which is pretty cool it's something a bit different okay guys vape time i got the coil reading at 0 0.51 ohms pretty spot on and also it's vaping at 50 watts airflow fully open let's give it a go Okay, so some pretty decent sized clouds, especially that's only 50 watts. If I whack that up, seriously, this thing just fogs the whole room. It is insane for chucking clouds. But the flavor, the flavor is the point that I want to just hold focus on because the flavor from this tank is incredible, okay? You have your average stock coils and your average stock coils will pick up most of the flavors of the juice, you know, and be a pretty good vape. Then you have your above average coils, which will pick up all the flavors of the vape and you know, do a good job, but they're not, you know, too strong. Then you got this guy. This guy picks up all the flavors of the vape and it amplifies them so they're all, you know, they all stand out and you can taste every last drop that is on that coil. It's insane, it seriously is insane. I wanna say it's better or on point as some drippers. Seriously, this thing is incredible. It's probably not the best I've ever had if we are including drippers because some drippers out there are just phenomenal, but this, seriously is really up there with them with flavor It's just i can't even express how good it is it does come at a cost though and that cost is liquid okay i've just filled this up and i've only vaped it probably like four or five times and it's nearly empty okay it's getting close to empty so it does drink liquid like it's going out of fashion but seriously the flavor i get on this you know it's worth it before we look at price and all that lovely stuff i just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of this video, Icebox. They sent me this kit to review, along with their mini kit. They've been fantastic. They seriously have, especially the tank, just amazing. If you wanna check out these products on their website or their social media, all the links will be down below. Okay, so cost. If you wanna purchase any of these products, they all can be found, of course, on the sponsor's website down below. But how much do they cost? 
If you want to purchase the mod on its own, it will set you back £50. If you want to purchase the tank on its own, it will set you back £25. But if you want to purchase the whole kit together, it will cost you £60. That is an incredible price, but it doesn't stop there. They also have a discount code, which is vape on. If you use that, you get a further 20% off, which makes the price of this £48. That is just a bargain, it really is. That's an absolute steal. Once again, if you want to purchase this kit for £48, links will be down below. Okay guys, so my final thoughts, let's start with some negatives. The first one is that I think it looks and feels a little cheap, my opinion though. The next negative is the screen could be brighter, or definitely could be brighter because it is a tiny bit annoying. It's not too bad, it is readable, but it would be better if it was brighter. Also, as a bit of a rattle, that isn't that great. But the pros, number one, the price for the whole kit, okay? You get a battery, which is an LG battery, insane. And that means for you beginners, you don't need to purchase all these different things. You just buy this one kit and you're good to go with some liquid and that is it. So that is just amazing. You also get a mod and an amazing tank, okay? A pretty decent mod, you know, works well. Also, it's quite cool with the screen, with the old functions and looks of it but the, the tank is just the winner for me. And you can get this for £48 with the discount code, even without the discount code, £60 for a battery, mod and tank is just a great price. Seriously, great bit of kit here, definitely recommend. All the links, once again, will be down below, especially also to my social media. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a like, also share it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.